What is up, my dudes, my dudettes, and wrestling colleagues of all kinds? Dan the Beast 94 here, continuing on with the WWF WrestleMania Legacy Box Set Collection with WrestleMania 6. WrestleMania 6 took place on April 1st of 1990 in the Sky Dome of Toronto, Canada, with a record of breaking attendance of 67,678 fans in which Edge was one of those fans in attendance for this uh, pay-per-view. And this was known for the ultimate challenge between then-WWF champion Hulk Hogan and then-Intercontinental champion The Ultimate Warrior. And uh, let's take a look at the boarding here. Same boarding as all the other WrestleManias with this uh, gray kind of concrete boarding. And let's go over the card in which I will pick out my favorite match or in what I would believe the best match from this WrestleMania as I do in every video. And let's start from the bottom here. We had Rhythm and Blues perform their hit single, Honka Honka Honky Love, in which Diamond Dallas Page drove both these men down to the ring in a pink Cadillac. We had Coco Beware versus the model Rick Martel. Tito Santana taking on the Barbarian. Superfly Jimmy Snuka versus Ravishing Rick Rude. Hacksaw Jim Duggan taking on Dino Bravo. Heart Foundation taking on Bolsheviks. I believe that's how it's pronounced. We had Brutus the Barber Beefcake versus Mr. Perfect Kurt Henning, in which at that time, Kurt Henning had an undefeated televised um, streak, in which he wasn't defeated um, televised wise. Until leading up to WrestleMania 6, in which Bruce the Barber Beefcake um, conquered that streak, I guess you would say. Hercules uh, took on Earthquake. We had the Rockers taking on the Orient Express. Big Boss Man taking on Akeem. We had Rowdy Roddy Piper, in which he was dubbing Half Face Paint. Uh, going for like a black and white look, I guess you would say. Taking on Bad News Brown. We had the million dollar belt match between Ted DiBiase taking on Jake the Snake Roberts. We had a mixed tag team match between Dusty Rhodes and Sapphire taking on Macho King Randy Savage and Queen Sherry. We had the World Wrestling Federation tag team titles on the line as the Colossal Connection, also known as Haku, Haku and Earth, uh, not Earthquake, Haku and Andre the Giant taking on Demolition, at which this time uh, Andre's health was pretty much deteriorating at this point and I believe he would depart from the WWF not long after in which I know at that point he was on crutches and could barely walk and then the main event the World Wrestling Federation title match Hulk Hogan defending against the Ultimate Warrior and if I had to pick in which I would believe the best match from this card. Um, I'm definitely going to go for the main event here with Hulk Hogan and the Ultimate Warrior. Just because this match was highly anticipated. And it was a great WrestleMania moment. Uh, especially for the Warrior. Even though Warrior wasn't known to be the best person in the locker room. Um, it, it was, it's still one of those moments that you look back at and say, hey, that was a pretty cool moment for Warrior dethroning Hogan of the title. And that about does it for today's review, guys. Make sure you hit that like button, leave your comments in the comment section down below, and as always, subscribe, especially if you're watching my channel and you're not subscribed. What are you doing? Hit that button. And until next time, guys, Dan the Beast 94 signing off.